right, y'all. <clears throat> What's up? This is uh, just a rundown of this Drake Pusha T beef. I'm gonna have to go ahead and let you all know, as I tell you every time somebody having a beef. I'm not team Drake. I'm not team Pusha T. I'm team Grill. I'm tired. Now I can let you know that I do listen to Pusha T more than I listen to Drake. Um, but that's just because I'm bored. <clears throat> I'm very bored with Drake. He ain't doing nothing new. All he's doing is wrapping up here, giving you something right here. This the anthem for the summer. Everybody get your mug, roll on. Like, and it's just like, okay, girl. All right. You through? It's the same thing he did in 2000, what, 13? When he gave us, um, been about you and I'm still about you on, uh, on Beyonce's album. He's still in that same key. And I'm like, okay, Drake, call me back for something else. But he ain't called me back. So anyway, <clears throat> as far as this, Drake Pusha T beef. I tried to get to the root, to the very root of the problem and couldn't. I searched. I actually did research um, because everybody be like, well, girl, you don't have all the facts. And I'm like, I'm not a fact. <laughs> I'm not a fact blogger, girl. I get on here and I talk about how I'm feeling. I should have went. But anyway, but I actually tried to, you know, get some facts for you girls and I really couldn't find a definitive answer. What I saw went back to 2006 when Drake wasn't even really that popping as a rapper. I was listening to him, but, but uh, that's because I loved Jimmy on the grassy. I had a huge crush. Um, but Drake, I mean not Drake, Pusha T. I guess did a song with Clips and was was Pusha T in Clips? Is Clips a group? I just don't understand. Is that my mama? Hey, to the stove. Okay. I'm going to get some rice pilaf if that's all right. You blacking the. Okay. Okay. So worrisome, my mama. Um. <laughs> so, like I said, 2006, Drake wasn't even rapping, but Pusha T in clips as a part of clips as clips. I don't know. I shouldn't pull that now, but I did. Oops, stay with it. Anyway. <laughs> um. He was rapping child and they made a song about bathing apes or some girl and apparently Clip said the young money was biting their style and I'm just like and just like I pulled out in front of somebody somebody pulled out in front of me but with far less time beep beep says speed it up let's go anyway so then Lil Wayne responded back and you still gonna go slow you still gonna go slow as if I'm not riding your tail. So Lil Wayne responded back and there was a light beef, some shade, you know, there. Um, and that was mostly that. Like, I don't understand. <laughs> like, the only song that I know of, of clips aside from grinding, is what happened to that boy. So it's just very much like the Brandy Monica beef. Like, the only Grammys the girls have are together. <laughs> so, I mean... Anytime you talk about Monica, you gonna talk about Brandy. Anytime you, well not me, but most people, you, anytime you talk about Brandy, you gonna talk about Monica. Like they, they hand in hand, and that's how I feel about Clips and Young Money, but what else? This car in front of me is wearing me out. But um, fast forward to this this season. Um, and Pusha T's album cover is this Whitney Houston bathroom. Now, I've told y'all numerous times, if you've been rocking with me for a while, I've let you know that I personally, my my favorite Whitney is Crackhead Whitney because I was born in 1994 and I didn't get to see nothing but Crackhead Whitney and then reform Crackhead Whitney. I didn't get to experience Whitney prior to all her carryings on. All of my memories of Whitney in the media as it, as life was going on was of Whitney and this crack bathroom. Whitney with that fur coat on and she was emaciated and gaunt and looked sick. Like that's the only Whitney I grew up with. <laughs> until I was probably like 13, 14, and then she had got better, honey. She got better, and uh, then she was starting to do movies and stuff, and then she died. So I don't have pre, um, pre really drug dependent Whitney. I, I don't have that reference. My mama, she was there for the whole Whitney career. She loves Whitney. She does not appreciate crack Whitney because you know she knew Whitney before. I didn't, I you know, have to go back and enjoy prior to Whitney, but I grew up with crack Whitney, <laughs> just like I grew up with Lindsay Lohan not on crack and so when I see when I saw Lindsay Lohan being ridiculous and on drugs and Amanda Bynes I, I was disappointed because I grew up with them not being like that now they are or you know then they were 
So I, I, I identify with my, with my mama's feelings on it, but I personally, <laughs> I only knew crack Whitney. Um, and I'm saying all this to say that the, the drug infested bathroom kind of, it, it was lost on me growing up because it's like, okay, this is Whitney bathroom. That's how Whitney rolls. But as I've grown up and now that I'm an adult <laughs> um, and I look at the carrying zone, basically, that the, the pushing tea is doing, like, it's, it's disrespectful. It's disrespectful. As a child, I didn't take it as disrespectful for the tabloids to be putting this woman's business out there. But as I look back, it's disrespectful. And it's, it's also disrespectful with um, Pusha T. Push, Pusha. I put an R on it. Pusha T. Um, Megan, this is album cover. And for what? What's the point? Like, what does it represent for Pusha? What does it represent? If Bobby Christina were alive and she were putting out an album and made that her album cover, I would say, okay, well, it's kind of still in poor taste, but that's her mama. You know, she that, she that was her bathroom. She grew up, she lived that life. So I can kind of understand. But Pusha T ain't grew up with Whitney Houston. Pusha T wasn't in the house with her. He wasn't with her shooting in the gym. So I don't understand the point of any of it. And Kanye's involved, but I'm not talking about her today. Um, and so the story came out that this was his album cover. Everybody, you know, was up in arms. I simply just think, why is she calling me? And she see I'm videoing. We just talked. What do you want? My mama. What is her problem? You call on this phone so I don't have to stop videoing. But everybody was mad. And I told y'all, you know, I hate it. <laughs> I think it's disrespectful. And I thought that Drake was putting out, Drake put out a Duffy freestyle. I think Pusha may have put out something before that, but I don't know. Uh, and then Drake put out Duffy. And I took that to mean uh, that Drake was taking the place of, of Whitney. Because Whitney's nickname was Nippy. So I'm thinking... Drake then took it upon himself <laughs> to call himself uh, Nippy, but with 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 the D. <laughs> but uh, I didn't listen to the freestyle. I haven't listened to any of the freestyles, so I personally cannot tell you. <laughs> um, but yeah, I, I thought that's what it was, but my friend said no, that's probably not what it was. So I don't know what Duffy's about. But then the girls came back with something else. I'm trying to call my mama back, but the phone tripping. The girls came back with something else, and it just. The whole to-do is on my nerves. It's on my nerves. Girl, answer this phone. I'm doing things. And why is this car over the line? That's on my nerves as well. I'm going to slide through here. And she's just not going to answer. Ooh. Oh, Jesus. Did I hit something? I don't think so. Anyway. <laughs> okay. She ain't answering. Oh, I ran over a, a bottle. Okay. So, look. Whatever. Duffy happened. I don't know what what I don't know what Duffy is because I ain't listened to it. <laughs> to be honest, I just didn't. Um, but apparently in Duffy or in I don't know how many freestyles it's been, but Drake dissed Pusha T's fiance or mentioned her. Didn't even really diss her, just mentioned her. Um, and Pusha T got you know in his feelings and put out this this sheather <laughs> um, situation, which I have not listened to, which is the story of Adidon, Ad Adidon. I don't know. Um, which has a picture of Drake in blackface, and then the beat apparently is the story of OJ. I again haven't heard it. Um, and everybody was really pissed about Drake being in blackface as if Drake is white. And I'm not gonna go through the whole to do with y'all, but I'm really, really, really tired as somebody who grew up very, very light skinned with very, very light eyes. I was born with blue eyes, and then they were gray, and then they were green, and now they're whatever they're doing today. Um, and my skin was just lily white and my hair was, was red and blonde and carrying on. As somebody who grew up like that and grew up being told, you're not black, you're not black enough, you're not black, you're not black, you're not black. I have a problem with people telling Drake he's not black <laughs> or being mad at Drake for, for, for doing black things. Not even that, well, okay, blackface isn't a black thing, but a black person with blackface on isn't as, um, distressing as a white person with blackface. Like... But what I can say is I'm when I think about Drake doing a photo shoot in 2007 where he's wearing blackface, first of all, why? Like, and he came out and said that it was something about acting, girl, I don't know, and I don't really care. But when I think about him doing that, I think about the fact that he and his white mama probably was sitting at the photo shoot looking at her black son and black face, talking about, oh, these pictures are lovely. And that kind of bothers me <laughs> a little bit, but not to the extreme. Anyway, girl, so... Apparently he put out the song and everybody was shocked to find that Drake had a child. I thought we all knew that. <laughs> I really thought that that was common knowledge. 
I'm shocked to find that y'all were shocked that Drake had a baby because we've been talking about it for so long. That's like y'all calling me saying, girl, did you know the brat was a lesbian? Like, yeah, girl, <laughs> sure did. <laughs> like, I don't understand. Everybody was shook about Drake having a baby. Like, this is not, we've been talking about this for at least a year. At least. Oh, Jesus, where's my napkin, Lord? Okay. Sorry, I had a drill. Um, so I was really shocked to find that y'all were shocked that Drake had a baby because that don't make sense. <laughs> that just don't make sense. Um, but yeah, so now my mom is wearing me out and calling me. Um, she must want something from the store here, but yeah, so all of that has gone on, and so far, Drake hadn't put out another diss. And what I think is about to happen, because everybody's like, oh, he hit Drake so hard, Drake gotta come back, he talked about his son, he talked about this and that, and, and, and 40 having um, ALS or multiple sclerosis, multiple sclerosis, or whatever all he was talking about, which, why you have to drag that man's illness into this? Like, why? But anyway, everybody was talking about, oh, he gotta come back, you know, hard. And I really feel like he's just gonna do what Nicki Minaj did when Remy Ma hit her with, with Cheater. Nothing. Nicki Minaj sat there for a smooth month and then released three tracks that she had pre-recorded well before <laughs> Remy Ma woke up that morning with a bee in her body. Um, and because them three tracks that Nicki Minaj put out, those were those had those had been recorded and produced and and mixed and mastered well before uh, Cheetha came out. <laughs> she just dropped those because you know put your wrists up kind of applied at the moment. And Drake is finna do the same thing. He's not finna come back and push it to you again. He's going to uh, either go radio silent or he's gonna drop some pre-recorded tracks, uh, some singles from his album or whatever. But he's not finna come back and it's not finna be all that. It's not finna be some back and forth and carrying on. It's not finna be. <laughs> Biggie and Tupac um, because Drake just doesn't have Biggie or Tupac in him. It's just not in him. For Pusha T I don't think it's all in him either. <laughs> like he got them little twig braids and he's giving you hood illusions but anybody rap with Kanye West anybody on good music ain't they not they not thugs for real. Anyway girl let me get in the store get this peel off and call my mama back see what she want and uh, I'll call y'all later. I think I'm going to call y'all again for Roseanne in just a minute. But uh, we'll see. Like, comment, subscribe, and share. Y'all, share these videos because I just be out here, girl. Um, and I'll call y'all bike eventually. After a while, honey. I wish she would stop hollering, but whatever. Peace.